Hello there. Welcome back to the Tableau Jedi channel. Today we will be talking about measures versus dimensions and discrete versus continuous in Tableau. I felt the need to cover both of these in this video because they are so intertwined with each other at times. We will be working off of the Global Superstore 2016 data set. I have put a link in the description if you want to pause the video and download it and then start the video back up. What is the difference between a dimension and measure in Tableau? Let's look at the Excel spreadsheet. Dimensions are qualitative and do not total a sum. For example, subcategory, category, product name, or dimensions. Picture a model of something on a table. You can walk around that table and get a different perspective of that model. Another way to look at it is your dimensions is a bucket and your measures is what fills that bucket up with. Measures are quantitative, numeric values that mathematical functions work on. For example, a sales revenue column is a measure because you can find out a total or average of the data. There is a specific reason why I colored these the way I did, and I'll get into that in a moment. I, I colored the dimensions in blue and the measures in green. Okay, let's go back to Tableau Sheet. Okay, so let's show you a difference between a measure and a dimension. You have your dimensions column, and you have your measures column. Okay, let's go ahead and drag category to rows. Now what you're doing is you're slicing and dicing this. Category has three, three things in it, furniture, office supplies, technology. Okay, let's go ahead and do sales. Let's drag sales to columns. Now, understand that category, here's category, here's sales, this is your bucket your furniture bucket and this the measure is what fills that bucket up with if you want to slice and dice it even more let's go to subcategory drag subcategory behind category now it breaks down that total even more by subcategory if you want to fancy it up let's take category put it to color and Tableau automatically assigns a color to that category. Furniture is blue, office supplies is orange, technologies is red, and so on. Okay, let's get into this. If you notice that Tableau puts dimensions by default in blue and measures in green, well, that's what they that's what you assume they assign it this color at first but that's a little confusing especially for the tableau first time user there is a specific reason why tableau does this and i get it but first let me explain this blue means it is discrete function green means continuous okay so and the reason why they do this is by default most dimensions are discrete and most measures are continuous but some of them can definitely be both and I'll show you I'll give you an example about that in a minute one rule of thumb you can remember is Continuous will show in axes, and discrete will show in header form by default. That's one rule of thumb. Okay, let's get into continuous versus discrete. What is continuous? Continuous means forming an unbroken whole without interruption. Discrete means individually separate and discrete separate and distinct. In Tableau, some fields can be either continuous or discrete, like I said a little while ago. 
here's another way to another rule of thumb you can think about discrete fields can be sorted and continuous fields cannot and I'll give you an, let me give you an example okay let's talk about continuous and discrete let's go ahead and let's put order date in rows let's go ahead and move it up to columns now let's go down to sales and drag sales to rows try to go slow here so you can do it and keep up I understand some of these videos they they go real fast and it's real aggravating especially for the new user okay now remember remember what I, what I told you about the blue and green the date right here shows up blue. The sum of sales shows up green. Remember, that's not because it's necessarily because it is a, a measure. It's not because necessarily it is a dimension. It's it's one is continuous. Okay, green is continuous. Blue is discrete. Okay, so I want to show the sum of sales, and I want to show a line chart. If you're going to show a line chart or you want to show trends, best practice is you're going to have to put this on continuous. Click on click on the date. Now go down and you will notice the two options you have here. Okay? Let's change that to continuous. Now, all of a sudden both of these are green. Okay? I want to go ahead and change these to let's go by quarters. Click on it again. I'll go down to quarter. So now I have the line chart in continuous mode. Can I sort this at this point? Say I want to sort the sales. I cannot do this while it is in continuous mode. So if you're going to sort, best practice is use a bar chart. So you go over to your marks panel, click on the drop down and go to bar. Now, go back up to date. We're going to go down to discrete. Click on it. Okay. So, right now, it is still showing in order for the dates. Let's go ahead and sort by sum of sales. So, go back up to date. Click on it. Go down to sort right here click on sort okay let's put it in descending order highest to lowest okay you want to sort by field click on fields now I only have one measure here so tableau is going to automatically default it to your one measure which is sales you can either click on apply if you want to see it or make any adjustments or you can just click on OK. So that's a couple of examples with sorting where you can sort in discrete mode, but you cannot do it in continuous mode. Notice that your dates now have changed. It's 2014, 14, 13, back to 14, and so on and so forth. There's your example of sorting. And there's an example difference between discrete and continuous. So let's recap. Dimensions are qualitative. It's your bucket. And measures are quantitative. What you fill the bucket up with. Discrete is individually separate and distinct. And continuous means forming an unbroken whole without interruption. And finally, Remember that blue stands for discrete and green stands for continuous. Definitely remember that. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If so, like it. If you want to be informed about future tutorials, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I also do freelance work. So if you have a job that you need help with, send me an email. Enjoy the rest of your day.